Dear ladies and gentlemen, it is once more a great honor and joy to contribute to this, the third now volume of the Elpis V-Law Review. And as always, my whole gratitude goes to the head of the Elpis Network, Professor Vasco Pereira da Silva, for giving me this opportunity. The matter in hand of my contribution of today would be the European Data Protection Supervisor, whose main role is actually to ensure whether especially European Union institutions, whenever necessarily processing people's personal data, respect the people's right to privacy. The Data Protection Supervisor is actually based nowadays on the regulation 2018-1725 of the European Parliament and of the Council, which was published in the official journal of the European Union on November 21st, 2018. It is already emphasized through recital 5 to the aforementioned regulation that it is actually in the interest of a coherent approach to personal data protection throughout the Union and not only to that, but also uh, of the free movement of personal data within the Union to align as far as possible the data protection rules for union institutions. And the European Data Protection Supervisor is exactly having an eye on that. Uh, based on Article 52 of the aforementioned Regulation 2018-1725, um, which is the basic article and following articles, of course, are organizing uh, the further content of uh, his or her work. Um, he shall be, express his verb, is responsible for ensuring that the fundamental rights and freedoms of natural persons, in particular their right to data protection, uh, are respected by union institutions and bodies. The position of the European Data Protection Supervisor was actually created already in 2004 and was beforehand um, based on elder uh, secondary law of the European Union. Especially there would be to mention uh, the regulation number 45 of 2001, among, of course, others. Getting now back to the status quo uh, and in regard to the creation of the position of the European Data Protection Supervisor, Article 53 of the Regulation 2018-1725 underlines that both the European Parliament and the Council shall appoint the European Data Protection Supervisor by a common accord for a term of five years. He or she is appointed on the basis of a list drawn up by the Commission, following, of course, a public call for candidates. Based on Article 53, Para 3 of the same uh, regulation, the term of office of the European Data Protection Supervisor shall be renewable once. The Data Protection Supervisor of the European Union shall be considered equivalent to a judge of the Court of Justice as regards the determination of remuneration. And besides that, based on Article 55 of the very same regulation, he or she shall act with complete independence in performing his or her tasks. Belonging to that is also the provision of Article 56 of the very same regulation, 2018-1725, which deals with the necessary matter of the professional secrecy of the European Data Protection Supervisor and his or her staff. To the most important tasks of the European Data Protection Supervisor belong the 
elements of monitoring and enforcing the application of the regulation 2018-17-25 by the union institutions and bodies, uh, and to also promote public awareness, which is of the utmost importance, and also public understanding of the risks, rules, safeguards and rights in relation to processing personal data. These tasks, of course, are uh, expressis verbis uh, based on Article 57 of the very same regulation. Besides that, Article 58 of the very same regulation um, emphasizes the concrete investigative powers of the European Data Protection Supervisor. In regard to the very significant matter of transparency, um, the European Data Protection Supervisor has to submit annual reports on his or her activities, um, both to the European Parliament and the Council. Besides them, since they are the organs uh, which create uh, the European Data Protection Supervisor, as mentioned before. Besides them also, the uh, annual report of the Data Protection Supervisor shall be uh, submitted to the Commission and in any case shall be made public uh, based on Article 60 of the same regulation. Another very important matter, of course, in order to be successful as a European Data Protection Supervisor is the matter of cooperation and consistency. So it is duly emphasized through Article 61 of the same regulation that there is a necessity of cooperation between the European Data Protection Supervisor and national supervisory authorities. The current European Data Protection Supervisor is Mr. Wojciech Wiewiorowski. He uh, is in office since 2019 and based on the last of the uh, annual reports which have been issued, the one of 2020, one has to underline first of all that uh, there have been within 2020 uh, 42 cases dealt with by the European Data Protection uh, Supervisor at an international level. And besides them, uh, he had to express six opinions and uh, 25 formal comments uh, in response to certain consultation requests, among others, by the Commission, by the European Parliament and by the Council. Last not least, one has to also uh, underline that in June 2020, so one year before, uh, the EDPS strategy for 2020 up to 2024 was presented, aiming at shaping a safer digital future, which is of course of the utmost importance for all of us. Thank you very much.